This is TK Coleman, and you're tuning in to another episode of TK's Two Cents. Today, we're going to talk about avoiding fruitless debates and the phenomenon of just doing my job. Let's dive right in with tweet number one. When people demand an argument for your point of view, demand an argument for why you should have the conversation. Never debate without guidelines and goals. TK, I said something on the internet and someone threatened to not respect me as a true serious thinker if I do not take the time to defend my views to them. Shouldn't I always be ready and willing to debate when I am challenged on what I think? Well, not so fast. I think you should always, as part of the belief formation process, think critically about what it is you claim to be true. You should always be willing to question yourself, to reevaluate your assumptions, to hear other people out, to examine evidence that contradicts your point of view, to consider your own biases and so forth. That's just a healthy thing to do in terms of developing your way of thinking about the world. But when it comes to arguing with every single person that wants to debate you, you have to consider what Thomas Sowell refers to as the first law of economics, and that is the principle of scarcity, that the resources we value in life exist in a limited supply. You only have a limited amount of time. You have a limited amount of energy. You have a limited amount of attention that you can give to others. And trade-offs are involved in every single choice you make. If you spend two hours watching a movie, well, that's two hours that you can't be spending reading a book. If you spend two hours reading a book, well, that's two hours that you can't spend being on the phone with a friend. If you're on the phone with a friend for two hours, well, that's two hours that you can't spend taking a walk and being alone with your own thoughts. Every decision that you make involves opportunity cost. There's something else that you can't do as a result of that decision. So what that means is in order to be both efficient and effective, you have to have some kind of standard in life for what decisions you are and are not going to make. Since you only have a limited amount of time, energy, and attention, you can't afford to just give it away frivolously to everyone who wants to converse with you about whatever is on their mind. There's a saying, you're not obligated to attend every argument that you're invited to. Sometimes when people wanna debate us, when they wanna challenge our thinking about things, there's nothing more important to them in that moment than us giving them our time to fight with them about whatever it is they wanna fight about. And you don't have to be dismissive of people, you don't have to be condemning of people, you don't have to be judgmental of people, but you also don't have to feel some moral duty to fight other people whenever they want to fight. So when people ask you to prove your point, what they're doing is they're demanding evidence for why they should take your ideas seriously. And you should never participate in those conversations unless you demand evidence for why you should spend your time in that conversation versus something else. Maybe you like to argue because it helps you improve your thinking. All right, that's a good goal to have. And you should go into that argument or debate knowing that this is your aim. Maybe this person is someone that you really want to trust you. You really want them to respect you. And you just don't feel like you're gonna be able to be happy unless you have that person's respect. All right, you should know what you're fighting for. But whatever you do, don't allow people to sucker you into arguments based purely on emotion. Someone threatens you, I'm going to dismiss you as an irrational person if you don't argue with me right now about this, if you don't debate with me endlessly. And then you just sort of like, you know, get all worked up and you feel a need to prove yourself to this person arguing with this person. Demand guidelines, demand goals. What are you fighting for? If you're going to fight, it's not my place to tell you not to fight. But if you're going to fight, you should at least know what you are fighting for. And if you're not fighting for something that's truly worth it to you, then why spend that energy fighting when you could be doing something else? Value your time. The best way to have a positive impact on the world, the best way to create the results that matter most to you, the best way to even demonstrate the value of your ideas is by becoming the kind of person who puts those ideas to constructive use by valuing your time and your work ethic, not by squandering it in the direction of everyone 
who wants to debate with you at the drop of a dime. Let's go to tweet number two. Just doing my job is almost always the wrong thing. Doing the right thing means having the ability to think contextually, critically, and creatively beyond what other people can tell you to do. Integrity is usually one to two steps ahead of what's mandatory or technically required. Here's the thing about greatness. Probably the most important observation about greatness that I can make, and that is this. Greatness, wherever it is found, however it is defined, is not mandatory. To say that something is mandatory is to say that it is required of you. It is something that you must do. It is something which if you do not do, you will get in trouble for. You will face punishment for. Whatever greatness is, it lies in the direction of going beyond those things. Greatness is about unearthing the potential within yourself that no one else knows enough to be able to summon or demand. There's a quote by Speed Levitch I love that says, there are secret places inside of every human soul that know nothing of the outside world. There is greatness in you. There is creativity in you. There is capacity in you that no one else can see. And so it can't be on the list of what's mandatory because when people make up their list of what's mandatory, it's only based on the knowledge they have or their ability to predict or anticipate what it is you can do. But there is always more to you than what other people are capable of demanding. There's always more to you than what other people are capable of saying, hey, you gotta do this or you're gonna get in trouble. What are those things? It's your job to give those gifts to the world. So if you wanna be great at your job, never limit yourself to the technical things that are written on your job description. Yes, you wanna be able to absolutely nail those things. If you are paid to do something or held accountable by someone for delivering on a product or service, you wanna be absolutely great at all of the things that are mandatory. If something is mandatory, it truly is important, but there is more to greatness, there is more to integrity, there is more to life than the things that are required from you. And you wanna be able to think about what those things are. You should bring a little bit of personality, a little bit of style, a little bit of creativity to everything that you ever do. Hey, that's tweet number two. That's how you avoid fruitless debates. And that's how you rise beyond the person who's just doing my, my job. Don't just do anything. Don't just do anything. I'm just doing my job. Oh, man. You know, it's just, I'm just doing my job. Be great. Don't just do anything. Go beyond what's just required. Go beyond mere effort. Bring your full self. Bring your aliveness to everything that you do. That's your gift. That's your gift. You don't receive your identity from your job. Your job receives your identity from you. I got to close out. I got to end this thing because I'm just going to keep going on. I appreciate y'all tuning in. Please be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button. Please be sure to leave comments, questions, things that you want to hear me talk about in the future. Thank you for supporting the revolution of one. Please share this with a family member or friend that you think might benefit from engaging the ideas. All right, y'all. We'll see you next week.